What's going on in crypto, friends? There's quite a lot of things happening beneath the surface. Where are the prices going, though? We want them to go up, don't we? Richard Hart has been tweeting a lot of AI type of tweets, and he's speaking about free speech in here. Free speech is our God-given human right. So, friends, these are the kind of the bullish undertones that are just going on. I know that they don't directly respond to adoption, but with crypto, it all comes down to belief. You really need to believe in your bags. And Richard Hart has adopted these principles, which are very easy for a lot of people to adopt. You don't need much effort. And it's actually it's quite genius that he's the only guy who's actually taken it. He took the big daddies. American Constitution stuff. He's taken free speech, freedom of movement, freedom to drink orange juice, all of those important ones. And no one else's crypto is in, is doing it. See, these are the words that are going to inspire people to come in. But they're not really inspired now, man. They want to see some big fat green candles. So he's gone through, friends, and he's speaking about laws against misinformation and disinformation are 100% guaranteed to destroy innocent men. So in here, he just cites some examples. He talks about flat earth, uh, geocentrism, where I think it's like when the earth was the center of the universe, the belief. He speaks about, you know, concepts of light and other things which were controversial as speech. Remember, people were persecuted for going against the mainstream at one point. And when you're looking at these, uh, how does it really apply to us? Well, you can't really do anything when it comes to that. It's more to do with like his court case and code but you're using this as your base to think about the next 1 million people joining. Can they adopt something like this? Yes. How do you know? Already 400 million Americanas, you've already adopted it. So it's quite easy to resonate with them. Now, what I'm doing now is I'm basically just building the conviction that we really went through this last year, but now he's repeating it again because it's getting closer to the court date. Let's just show you that if you're ever holding and you're like, oh, these coins don't produce any profit. And they're not companies or whatever. You need something to actually believe in. Well, this is this is pretty much the uh, the thing that's going to carry you. Also, shout out to Lucky Luke. Sami, what did I tell you? The Flat Earth community has a very loud megaphone. All members of the community are true hard believers that will not abandon the community. Still early to join Dome. I'm guessing that's a Flat Earth. <laughs> Man, there's some crazy stuff going on, friends. Uh, look, I'm just telling you guys. That flat earth thing better not be right. Because <laughs> I'm just I'm not talking about all these revelations we have, friends, of course. Like in terms of like you grow up, you're like, oh, yeah, the world is open and honest and judges are neutral. And there is no cabal of 200 rich families that are controlling everything. And the money printer doesn't really exist. And then, oh, yeah, UFOs are totally just people who are on drugs. And you get to learn everything one by one, things knocking down. But <laughs> I guess we'll get to the bottom of it later on. I also thought this was fascinating, friends. Um, just look at Vitalik when he got his girlfriend, okay? He's just been dumping into oblivion, all right? Now, Vitalik getting his girlfriend, I want you to just appreciate the randomness and chaoticness of Mark. So play some nice gentle angel music. Three years ago, in the year 2021, you got Richard Hart. Everybody knew him as the fat dude twerking and, you know, gate kept and CZ doesn't like him. No one likes him in the industry because it's so controversial. That's what was going on back in 2021. If you go back and ask the entire crypto industry, in three years, there will be a leader who will be dumping his token for his new girlfriend. Who do you think it's going to be? Vitalik or Richard Hart? I guarantee, friends, even the hexagons would have picked Richard Hart. Even the hexagons. <laughs> and you got to got it wrong. Lord Vitalik has capitulated on his semen retention strategy. Ethereum is still suffering for it, man. Ah, oh, that's funny. It just, I'm telling you, man, you're going to see some, friends, I told you from day one, you're going to see some crazy stuff in markets. Just things you're like, man, who the hell was going to predict that? No freaking way in hell. The only way to make it is to believe, though. You're not trying to predict these turns of events. Like, for example, who was going to predict Donald Trump was going to get a bullet shot at his head and then, by the grace of God, have some sort of angel working in the back of whoop, and he's going to survive and maybe win. I mean, it's just crazy how these things come out. Now, shout out to my friend Sami for this amazing AI, bro. I don't know. This guy, you have an amazing AI. This, my friend Sami, the mystical squirrel, has some insane ability. 
He's using, he's doing, he knows exactly all the apps. There's face swaps. Man, it's going nuts. So Richard Hartwright is tweeting about free speech. And when the community, when you guys see, I know, friends, you always get bored. You always be like, oh, the free speech thing again. Really? No, friends. Look, also, yes, I, I agree with you. Boring. <laughs> but look, I'm just being honest. Just think about it in terms of future adoptees. You think it's easy for people to hear, I like free speech and join? Yeah. Yeah, it is because it's something to adopt. Whether you believe, you know, it's not going to last, whatever, it doesn't really matter. Can they adopt it? Yeah. Now, we're probably going to live in a world where is dog man's best friend, that type of concept will be larger than Pulse Chain. That's Doge, by the way. We are going to live in that world. We already know it, right? Everyone's going to have to, like, live up to that. Yeah, dog is man's best friend. That's how it's going. But for these friends, remember, we, we've already made Doge. You can't go make another Doge. But the free speech part and the right to transact, the right to, to move, all these, they haven't been taken yet. So Richard Hart has taken those branding points. We're probably going to see, if it gets successful, other chains eventually copy it later on. But right now, they don't want anything to do with it. They think this is a losing strategy. I have the right to tweet that Hex is a better Bitcoin. you got to remember, friends, there's a lot of people, whenever I, I, they get so tilted, they don't even read what I'm saying. I go, dude, like, it doesn't even matter if Hex is not a better Bitcoin or not. All that matters is there are 200,000 people with a freaking megaphone. And I'm literally, I'm telling you right now, I don't have many guarantees in life. I'll just, I promise you, as soon as Hex does its first little shitty plus 50% move off this bottom, we're all going to be yelling that it's a better Bitcoin. All right. And everyone in the community out there in crypto is going to take the bait. What are they going to do? They're going to get the linear chart and they're just going to post the linear chart of eHex. But what they don't know they'll be doing is just shilling all our bags. They're going to be shilling eHex. Then there's going to be people replying with the PHEX chart. Then there's going to be re people replying with the PulseX chart. Then there's going to be all of you replying with, hey, have you heard of PDI? It's going to a dollar. And then what about Mr. Dirky Turkey starts making crack out, crack hot memes, dick with bud. And then was like, Pika, my friend Sammy, where's a Pikachu hat? What's going on here? You know, friends, it just, it goes on and on and on. By the way, this already happened. Do you know that? Pulse Chain community, you know it already happened, this type of uh, the network effect going out. Because when I watch Bitcoin Maxis, for example, uh, Matthew Cratter, like, this is Matthew Cratter. Like, that guy, Mr. Matthew Cratter, they know about Pulse Chain, friends. They know about it, all of it. And I'm like, well, you know what PHEX is? You know, they didn't know about it at the start. But people just kept spamming it over and over and over again. Now they're finally learning. Now, here's the thing. They look at it from afar like it's a dumpster fire. And you know what? By the price chart, it is. But you don't need them to respect anything. You just need the candles to go up. That's why it's a matter of time. I also joke here as well. I'm not even joke, but it's real. Right? I have the right to post that pulse chain with Flip Corridanzo. Pulse chain, cycle one. Corridanzo, cycle three. It's almost set in stone. PulseX is the protein version of Unisoy, otherwise known as Uniswap. And you know Uniswap, right? It's the antithesis of free speech, okay? Now, in a nutshell, you could always argue, well, you know, the blockchain of Ethereum can't be censored. It's just their Uniswap front end, blah, blah, blah. It is that. But the government just says that to, like, Uniswap. They go, oh, we're not trying to censor you. We just want you to follow the rules like everybody else. And then Uniswap go and have a cry, like, like Gate and Adams. Be like, oh, no, 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 you're censoring us. Yeah, but you go and censor the Hex community. You want to know what's funny, friends? I think there's there's like two banned books in America. One of them is Peter Schiff's dad. I think, I think that's right. And he wrote a book basically about how you don't need to pay taxes, you shouldn't pay taxes, and they banned it. All right, so um, but a lot of people know this. Uncle Peter Schiff, yeah, his father, he, I think it was, I forgot his name. Yeah, he passed away in jail. And, uh... Yeah, he wrote about how taxes were unconstitutional and he died a very, very principled man. He took it to the grave. He refused to give up on his principles. He passed away in jail, okay? So, contraband. I'm just telling you, man. Gate kept and banned stuff. We have the internet now. We can shine a light on banned stuff. A lot of the banned political figures in the world, you're already seeing them on Twitter. People are showing you the other side. 
things aren't so black and white all the time. So I'm just wondering if Ricardo Corazon is going to have some sort of element boost like that as well. Happened to Donald Trump, right? So it's funny. We're, we're like, oh yeah, Donald Trump is uh, pro crypto. Duh, we've got to vote him in. But if you're looking at the rest of the world, they're looking at him like orange man bad, orange man bad. But we know, oh, they're all brainwashed. So these types of spotlight shifts, when things go from hated to neutral to like to love, that's the big switch you're looking for. I also have a gentle update here. So shout out to this kind baby doll who made this post. KRD the ghost is talking about Bankex. Remember Bankex when they had around 860 million EHEX? So now they're down to only like 560 million. So they're down about 33%, which is huge, man. It's pretty good. They're down 33%. And slowly they're distributing over time they've been exiting. So they sell like $1,000 clips and stuff here and there. They're getting out of it. You got to remember, man, they only have like 600K worth of EHEX. Now, it used to be like 14 million. So a lot of people still don't know. I know, friends, because we've heard this so many times. There are a lot of people, they wonder, how did Bankex get 870 million EHEX? God Whale said he fat-fingered. He was meant to send them like 8 million hex or 80 million EHEX. He sold, sent them 860 million EHEX. And then he made a post later on saying something about scammers. But then a lot of people, there was a conspiracy because Bankex were meant to do an algo stable coin backed by silver. I forgot what it was. So people were thinking maybe Godwell was looking at as a way to uh, like uh, exit, right? So if they had a stable coin, he's given the stable coin as a project. We don't know, okay? But uh, it didn't plan out that way. So these are all the wallets and all these. There's like 14 walls. You don't need to watch it, man. I, I don't watch it. I don't even bother anymore because that's... Nero, one of the dog coins, like 10 of them, it did $9 million of trading volume in the past 24 hours. Pulse Chain, the whole ecosystem, did half of that. So one meme coin on Ethereum, Nero, like the, the sixth Nero coin did $9 million of trading volume. The entire Pulse Chain only did $4.5 million. That's right. Everything on Pulse Chain, the whole ecosystem, Pulse, PHEX, EHEX, everything. So just showing you like um, these prices are very, very, very depressed and they're not really a true reflection of the community. But if you want, you can always have a look at the EHEX price chart. This is this little wedge thing going down. This is the EHEX, right? This is on the on Pulse chain. You can buy, remember friends, you can buy EHEX on Pulse chain. This is uh, EHEX to Pulse ratio. I wouldn't be surprised if it smashes up one here one day. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, but obviously, what people always want like, why talk about it? Because it's a fun little, it's a stepchild, man. It's a, it's three hundred k liquidity. You can go talk about all the rest, but they all move in sync, man. This is Pulse, yes, Pulse still down heaps. You have Pulsex still down heaps as well, right? And then they have big, 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 thick liquidity fence. This is PHEX as well. PHEX getting uh, like destroyed. This was Richard Hart's basically Unity tweet. He's like, well, PHEX is better, and then now we're down. Wow, we're down eighty seven percent. Since Richard said PHEX is better. See, that that's what makes people turn. Because I know for a fact, we saw it, people dumped EHEX to go rotate into PHEX. And then they all, you all came at me. You said, ah, oh, well, Joey, uh, you lost your pot, mate. Go and take a holiday. Go and take a holiday, sir. Bro, but just you just destroyed yourself, bro. I don't, what are you celebrating, bro? This, you're celebrating. By the way, that's not... The entire cycle. That's just since March this year, man, after Richard's tweets. So navigating this space, man, it's tough in the short term. And by the way, you know what I'd say tough in the short term? 85% of the time, you should be should be shorting crypto. You know, it keeps dropping all the time, 85% of the time. The 15% of the time, though, it just keeps going up and it blows everybody out. But you just don't know when that time comes. Interestingly enough, we can look at the EHEX to PHEX ratio, friends. It's actually funny. It is around almost 0 0.3. It's right here. You know, if it climbs back up to here, uh, it will be the, this will be literally monumental, by the way, friends. <laughs> if it goes back up to here, friends, if it retraces the Richard Hart EHEX FUD thing to 0 0.5, everything we've thought about here in this channel would have come true by that point. We're like, oh, wow. The network effects are better than just the founder and the founder can't actually tweet a coin to zero. So you can't force a coin down to zero by words and you can't force it up by words either. You can have these spikes, but eventually it gravitates back to the mean. Also, it is interesting to think about that PulseX buy and burn here. I have the PulseX uh, price chart here. You can look at the PulseX to Pulse ratio, friends. 
and he's nice at sitting around 0.5. We'll probably see this continue to go up, um, but it, the, it's not moving that much, man. Like, I know the ratio is nice. But just think about this. If you're in here, like, if it goes all the way up to here, this is huge. You're only up 80% against Pulse. Like, you know what I mean? Like, if you're on a peak on Pulse Chain or Dick with Bud or P Dye or just anything else, uh, you're not going to get like an 80% on your PLS. You might get, I'm not joking, 1,500%. That's, that's like a 16X. However, you take a lot more risk. You know what I mean? But these are just, these are lower risk. So that's, that's what I want you to think about these things. Everything's along the risk curve. It's just, yeah, man, look, I have the 3D scope of everything because I'm here 18 hours a day. I hope you've, by watching my channel, friends, you've just come to appreciate like, oh, everybody's along the risk curve. That's why when people say, my thing is better, my thing is better. No, no, no. Like, remember, everybody fits along the curve. So when they say my thing is better, go, yeah, maybe it's better when there's six green monthly candles in a row, but uh, your thing is worse when there's six red monthly candles in a row. Okay, so obviously if there's six red monthly candles in a row in Bitcoin, everything is down 98%. You're very much fit. That's, that's the bear market, by the way. You get the point. And um, when you start something in Ethereum, yeah, slightly less risk than Bitcoin, but you have an, at least an idea of the scope of everything uh, and, and how everything fits in. Uh, also, it's funny about this risk curve, just to plot everything else out in. Icosa is still around, friends. If people, if you want leverage on hex, man, it's still around. This is Icosa hex ratio. I mean, check this out. This is a, this is insane. Like this thing has been literally going sideways since January, man. This is what, see this friends? This is the Icosa hex ratio. And this is uh, very important because if this thing goes up towards its ceiling, whatever hex does, this does a 5.6x. And it's very, very thin as well. So look, um, the, all these opportunities are available. I mean, there's, there's, there's so many coins you can buy. They just, you, you, ecosystems are better. That's it. There is no one coin. Like, yeah, it'd be great if you and I could just buy, let's go buy Polkadot and get a 50X. We're not going to get that, man. You can't just go buy Polkadot. Polkadot is the layer one lower risk thing of the ecosystem. You've got to dive deep into the ecosystem. And by the way, they're, they're, they're wasting their treasury on these scammers on Twitter who are robbing the treasury and they're like sponsoring Lionel Messi and stuff. Just, I don't know what the hell. Polkadot might even be around the next cycle, man. They're just, they're just, they're just blowing everything apart. You see, you've got to dive into the ecosystem. You've got to have an edge. But here's the thing, man. I've looked at all of them. Personally, I want a community of diehard cultists. I like the fact that people yell out, Hex is a better Bitcoin. And if you joke about it, they'll come for your throat. I like that. I don't want people to joke about it. Let me joke about it, okay? When people come to my throat, I'm like, oh, cool. People still believe. Easy. I want that. I don't want to be in an ecosystem where people are going, oh, well, you know what I mean? Have you seen that Soilana? Oh, what about Justin's son coming in from the left? Have you seen the sun coins? I don't want that, bro. You don't want that either. That means loss after loss after loss. That's what it means. When's the last time you met somebody who retired off this Soilana, Pump Fun, or Tron stuff, friends? There are great... <laughs> There are great coins on Soilana. There are. The problem, though, is Soilana, the spear coin, has maximum exposure from the ecosystem. Where's the value? You're trying to play for the future now. You see? Now, if you, if you want to live in a world where you want to invest based off everybody else giving something first place trophy and then you invest, what well, are you going to lose? You're literally buying high. You're buying high. You're a greater fool, the greatest fool, and you think there's many more greater fools coming after you you're going to be very disappointed. And there's many other opportunities out there, friends. Like, for example, here is Avalanche, okay? Avalanche, remember, is a gaming chain. It's pretty much like a meme coin chain. It's down 77% since 2020, all right? It's down 77% versus ETH. And look, it's a 4.3x to the top. Now, Avalanche is cycle two, and it's a gaming chain, which I guess it's okay. But that's 4.3x to the top, bro. And you don't have 170,000 ETH ready to pump it. You don't. So it's okay, like, if you like it. Friends, everyone's along the risk curve. Everyone's along the risk curve. There are just other things I think, oh, well, I can take on more risk where we have a fluffy microphone, we know the community, we can find everybody on Twitter and YouTube. There's 170 content creators on Pulse Chain that are going to be feeding the spear, which is the gate. The gate's pretty much opening to the whole ecosystem. That, that, I know, friends, we want that stuff to play out into fruition. I want that too. But it doesn't mean you give up on it. <clears throat> you just, you're waiting. You're just waiting until basically the uh, the container fills up. You just, man, we can't go anywhere with it. Ethereum has a two in front of it or even a three. There's nothing. That's it. It's literally it. It's not even our fault. It's no one's fault. Just it is what it is. Blame it on Vitalik. Blame, there's no one to blame, friends. Vita okay, Ethereum's under $4,000. There's 
There's nothing you can do. Shout out to Aaron. I think a big reason AVAX and all the other layer one coins went up so much was because of the Ethereum killer narrative. Investors thought themselves early, even after these coins hit billions in market cap, because they believed their valuations would grow to each size. Yeah, Aaron, some say Aaron. Uh, you probably didn't watch my, I don't think you were around here last year. I made many dozens of videos on that exact topic. The killer Ethereum narrative became a cycle one phenomena in 2021. We call them alt, A-L-T, L-1. Alternative to ETH. That's why we say alt L1. That's what it refers to. And in 2021, the biggest winners of that, you had Cardenzo, you had Phantom, Soilana. You had those that emerged. Binance Chain, they were, it was, became a big narrative. Everything went up because they were alternatives. In fact, Pulse Chain was made because Richard saw the alternative Ethereum narratives. And he saw these billions of dollars of valuations. He's like, oh, crap, you guys have product market fit. I guess I'm going to make a chain. That's where it pretty much came from, you see. So these alt layer one narratives, now they're number two cycle. Now, you being a better ETH, you can already feel it. It's diminished its gain, hasn't it? Okay, Avalanche as well, all these. It's not as sexy, right? And by next cycle, you'll be useless as a narrative. Only like the very, very, very few. I mean, who even knows? There'll probably a chain that's not even around now, right? It might even be like an Amazon chain or whatever. But for now... You get an appreciation of it. Um, taking the wild bet that your thing is even going to become a narrative, it's literally nearly impossible to guess. But if you get it right, <clears throat> free money. Literally free money. Picking it is another another difficult task, though. So that's how it all ties in. Alternative layer ones. Are we going to repeat it again? We're going to get a diminished gains. Uh, there are going to be some unicorn winners. Obviously, Soilana's one. What other ones out there? We're hoping Pulse Rain is part of it. That's why I do all these concepts to show where if you're if you're a newer coin in that narrative, you get an advantage. How much of an advantage though? I guess we'll find out. Like, subscribe, belly button, or catch the next one.